up guys and welcome back to Tech Rage. My name's Rob and today we're going to be taking a look at the new edition from Razer. Now this is their new, uh, their new gaming mouse essentially and they're calling it Wireless Supremacy. Yes, that's right, it's a wireless gaming mouse. Now you can use this wired up and everything else just like you would do a normal gaming mouse but you can detach it and you get your full RGB, you get your full wireless and you still get the good performance that we're all looking for. So is it worth it? Because this thing comes in at 150 UK and about 150, 160 US. Now that's crazy money for a mouse. 150, oh, let's see if it's any good. All right, so here we go. This is the Razer Lancehead box. Now it looks very well presented uh, when you receive it. Obviously green wraps around the outside with black on front and back with all the information you need. So inside you get your usual sort of thank you cards and manuals and everything else, just to explain what everything is and how to turn everything on as well. The user manual is really, really detailed. It's really nice, easy to understand. And obviously your customary stickers from Razer to put where you want. So first of all, the mouse is a little bit understated. You sort of look at it and think, wow, really? But you know, it's not all about first impressions. So as you can see on the bottom there, you've got your laser sensor. That's right, it's a laser sensor, not an optical sensor. So it's looking for the accuracy here, especially on the wireless as well. And overall, the whole thing does look pretty good. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Also in the box, you get your wireless receiver as well as your wired cable to charge the mouse from. You also get a little extension as well, just so you can plug the Razer cable into one end of this, and then in the other end, you can put the wireless receiver. So here you go, you don't really get much in the box, but what do you expect? It's a mouse, it's a peripheral at the end of the day. You know, so you're gonna be using it with your PC, but this thing is definitely for the hardcore gamers. This is for the tournamenters, you know, the guys that play, you know, your Call of Duties, your Battlefield, you know, everything five, six, seven days a week. Okay, so what you gotta do is plug in your wireless receiver uh, into a USB port and then you're pretty much good to go. Download the Razer software as well to go with it and it's just really easy to set up. On the bottom you've got your profile selector and obviously your power switch as well. You also get a little port underneath so you can store away your wireless receiver for if you're on the go as well, which makes things really easy in the future. So a couple of specs about the lance head then. So it's got a 16,000 DPI laser sensor. So this has been worked on for a long time now and they've really perfected this, especially to be able to transmit all of this data over a wireless signal with what they're saying is 100% transmission stability. That's right, 100%. Now what they've done with this lance head is test it in an environment where you've got loads of Wi-Fi signals going on. You know, your wireless headset, your wireless um, internet going on, you've got your, your wireless everything, other wireless mice next to you, you know, six to eight to 10 other wireless devices all around you trying to get this 100% transmission stability and this, this mouse still holds up. It is absolutely amazing how they've improved the technology nowadays. You know, there's gonna be a stage where they're actually probably gonna get rid of wired gaming mice. But overall, the mouse looks really good. The RGB is really subtle. It's probably not enough for me, and I'm not even a massive RGB fan, but it looks really good. And all the, uh, the, all the lights and the RGB are fully customizational with 16.8 million colors, uh, even though you could probably only see about seven of those. So during gameplay, it felt, well, really good. Just felt like uh, the average gaming mouse. For, for me, I'm not really a hardcore gamer, so I probably wouldn't be able to tell, you know, for these millisecond delays or, you know, even the nanoseconds, it's just, it's unreal, you know, how precise people want these mice now. But obviously, if you're into your really hardcore gaming, your tournament in, all of these things will make a massive, massive difference. Right, so there you go, the Razer Lance Head. Right, so there you go, the Razer Lance Head. 150 pounds worth of wireless supremacy. Look, 
like I said, it's not brilliant. It's just, it's 150 pounds, guys. You know, what, what do you want me to say? I don't care how good it is, 150 pounds for a mouse is ridiculous. Regardless of performance, styling, anything else, uh, personally, I would stick to some of the competition. Now, you may not agree, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.